Well, here at Shangri-La 2 Motor Speedway, we see all kinds of different divisions. And then another driver in the street stock division, it's kind of a sophomore season, is Bob Ripley from Pine City. And Bob, welcome to the race report. Hey, thanks for having me. Um, you've been driving in the street stock division now. This is your second year. But you have another love that has kept you busy for the last five or six years. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, uh, that Valiant project, that's uh, soaked up quite a bit of extra time. Uh, time and cash, I'm sure. Well, we we find means and ways. Uh, eBay's been a big thing. You find everything you find on eBay, cheap as you can. Now, for the fans who are watching the race report, kind of tell us about this Valiant and who made this thing fo pay, fo uh, popular. Well, Jeff Bodine was the original owner of it, and my uncle TK helped fund and own the car uh, back in the early 70s. I so think it was winter of 69, 70, they built the car. And the pictures that Barney took while they were building the car, he... Uh, he still had and let me get copies of to use as more or less my blueprints when I built the car. Uh, we've seen pictures of this uh, in the construction phases and we saw it out on track last year once or twice. I uh, still had some gremlins though. Oh yeah. Yeah, we lost the motor one night at the wrong harmonic balancer on it. Next night I was goofing around and lost it and went in the wall in two. But uh, it's got those bumps and bruises now to make it look more real. Well, and you had it out in competition here on the high banks just one week ago. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I had a lot of family members come down. My uncle was here, his family, and uh, they uh, they really enjoyed that. It was it was pretty neat. Now Jeffrey Bodine won the 19, or 1972 Race of Champions, driving the original car, and something special coming up at this year's Race of Champions. Yeah, this year's Race of Champions will be the 40th year since Jeff won it in the actual car, the the replica that I built. So uh, we talked to Andy Harpel and got together, and he decided it was a pretty good idea to have Jeff Grand Marshal the event. And he's going to make some pace laps in my car and uh, do an autograph session and then gentlemen search your engines. And uh, it's got to be a proud moment for you, though, to see Jeff actually behind the wheel of the car. Yeah, he's, he's pretty excited, too. Yeah, my uncle, my dad, and he was a member of the team a little bit, and we kind of got a pretty big thing going this weekend. It's going to be pretty entertaining. And you're speaking about your dad and your family. Family, a big part of racing, and got to be a big part of your crew here at, on Saturday night. Oh, well, usually. Tonight I'm kind of by myself, but uh, I pit with the Wilbers and the Currens and all of them. We're, we all grew up together, so they're pretty much my crew, actually. And my brother-in-law was busy tonight. He couldn't make it. But, yeah, family's big. When building the car was bigger with the family. And what a lot of people don't realize, they see people compete like crazy out on the track. And, yeah, they see some of the highlights when guys are a little upset with one another. But there really is a lot of camaraderie down in the pit area. Oh, yeah. It's a good bunch of guys. Very few people really dislike somebody. It's They dislike the moment, more or less. But uh, that's racing. That's the exciting part about it. If it wasn't for those moments, fans wouldn't come see it. Well, Bob, I know you're going to really look forward to the uh, event next weekend up at Oswego. We're glad you're here at Shangri-La, too. It was really a lot of fun to see that car on Thursday night. Yeah, I need to put a little special thanks in for my immediate family, my kids and my wife, for putting up with what I've done for the last couple of years and the time I've lost with them to do this. And they know it and they appreciate it, but it was worth it when it's done. It, it, they look back at it now, and they're pretty proud of it as I am. Well, a lot of things in racing are an act of love, and we've got it right here with Bob Ripley as he restores an iconic pavement modified.